All right, come to your television sets. Take a look at this video. In fact, it captures the moment that Toombs County inmate Robert Lee Presgave escaped custody. Look as you can see him there running across the street, making a dash to freedom. You see him right there, the person in that circle. Our Brooke Butler got a hold of this video for us this afternoon, and she joins us live from the Toombs County Courthouse. Brooke, you spoke to the county sheriff. He's telling you he doesn't know where that inmate is. Yeah, Greg, that's exactly right. It's been nearly 30 hours since Presgrave's escape custody here at the Toombs County Courthouse, and he still has not been found. And at this point, the sheriff says he could really be anywhere. We don't know what area he's in. Oh, if he was even, even in the county at this time. Thursday afternoon, Robert Lee Presgraves appeared in court for a sentencing hearing on previous theft and weapons charges. Following the hearing, he was taken into custody by deputies, handcuffed, and turned over to jail staff to be taken to the detention center. We're told one officer was in the car with Presgraves when he managed to escape. He overpowered the the jailer that was driving the truck. In this surveillance video obtained exclusively by us here at WJCL, you can see Presgrave's exit the passenger side of the vehicle with his hands seemingly free. He runs across the street to an end market gas station. That's where the sheriff says he stole a Pineland Paper Company truck. He jumped inside the, the vehicle and drove it off mm -hmm. and uh, went down well, 147. A truck was later found at the Tombs Tattnall County line. When we found the truck, it was abandoned. Uh, he probably had been gone close to an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had a time to actually uh, get a pretty good waste from, from the vehicle. The Tombs County Sheriff's Office says they're using helicopters and canines and are receiving help from various other law enforcement agencies in an effort to find press graves. Now they're asking for your help. Hopefully somebody will tell us something or call in some, let us know something. And Brooke, you did some digging and you found out that this is the second time that a county inmate has escaped in recent months. Yeah, Greg, that's right. But the sheriff tells me the first incident actually happened under the watch of Lawrence County deputies. He says they were dropping off an inmate at their Tombs County Detention Center when that inmate managed to escape. But again, that was under the watch of Lawrence County deputies, according to the sheriff here. Back to you. All right, Brooke, thanks a lot.